Welcome back. Last night in front of what we hear was a sold out crowd. A new Miss Hawaii was crowned. And our very own Malika Dudley, of course, we, we know, right? Yes, we know. <laughs> she won the, won the competition uh, back in 2005. So uh, Malika, do, we have a, do you have a favorite memory? We know, we know it, the question portion prepared you for all of my crazy ad lib <laughs> weather tosses. So you have that at least. <laughs> That is probably true. <laughs> Tom, you know, it was a very long time ago, but I have to say the favorite part of it was definitely going to Miss America, meeting all of my Miss America sisters, having the Miss Hawaii sisterhood, which is so amazing that when we now have a new Miss Hawaii joining us, and of course, just traveling the islands and meeting with the community, just being a part of the community during the year of service. So I'm so excited for Lauren, and I can't wait to hear this interview that you guys are going to do with her. And please tell her, welcome to the sisterhood. <laughs> Mahalo, Malika. And Saturday night, of course, marked the 75th annual Miss Hawaii pageant. And joining me this morning, Malika gave you a little sneak peek for this Miss Hawaii 2022, Lauren Teruya. Good morning and congratulations, Lauren. Aloha, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. As I, it was only a few hours ago when you heard your name called and you got that crown placed on your head. It's, tell me about that moment. How amazing was it? It, it was amazing. I, I feel so grateful. Honestly, I feel like the whole night just went by so quickly. It feels like a blur. But last night, it, I just felt like it was it was more than just me standing on stage. I felt like I was standing on stage with my family and my friends and my ancestors. It just felt like a total celebration. And I know there's a lot of work that, of course, goes into before you even get up on that stage. Can you tell us a little bit about how you prepared for this moment? Um, I know there's a few different parts of the competition um, that you guys do, such as talent and the speaking portion, all of that. Yes, yeah, so there were so many people involved in helping me prepare, but I, I think the one thing that was consistent throughout this whole journey and this whole process is to wake up every morning with a thought of gratitude and end the day with a thought of gratitude and remind myself that really this is everybody's journey, everybody's destiny, and I feel very, very lucky to be where I am today. <laughs> And I know you probably got some guidance that not a lot of other people get. Your sister was also crowned Miss Hawaii about five years ago. I was, you guys are the first sisters to ever both earn this title. Was, tell me about talking to her afterwards and was, maybe any advice that she gave you that prepared you for this moment. Yeah, my sister has always been a huge inspiration to me. She's dedicated her life to service. Um, back in 2012, she actually won Miss Hawaii Team USA, and then I won that five years later. And so to be here winning Miss Hawaii five years after her, it just feels like it was something that was meant to be. And one of the things that she told me um, before I went on was was to go in with clear eyes, to go in open, and and to make sure that you know I was just being my authentic self on stage, and that's what. They tried to do is it what is it the saying from um, Friday Night Lights um, clear eyes full heart can't lose <laughs> so I feel you know like what? now that you say that she probably stole it, she probably <laughs> stole it. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about your social impact initiative because this is a lot of what you're going to be doing over the course of the next year and how you'll be interacting with the community Absolutely. So my social impact initiative is called Arts for All, and it's actually something that I started back in high school, which was doing workshops in our community um, for children that don't have access to arts education. Hawaii is actually one of 34 states that does not require arts education in schools. So it's something that I really do believe is necessary on a local level, but also on a national level. And, and one thing that I've done in addition to the workshops and working with um, schools is, is to also promote art in the park, which is something that is accessible to all for all ages, something that I hope to ramp up here in Hawaii. We have 400 different parks, so I'm really hoping that this can be a partner between the Miss Hawaii organization as well as our parks and recreation. 400 different parks. I don't even think I knew that. So I learned something new this morning. But of course, <laughs> I think my, <laughs> my last question for you, um, what are you looking forward to most during this upcoming year as Miss Hawaii? 
Gosh, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to Miss America. I feel very honored for the opportunity to represent our amazing state. And I, I really just want to go in as open as possible um, and to just dream big the whole time. Well, thank you so much, Lauren, for joining us this morning and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll have this full interview with Lauren.